windows, I'm going to show you some of those hot key and hot corner effects. Now, mind you, this is a VNC connection. It's not going to display all the graphics just right. I go to the top right corner, and there you see my windows go into this expose mode, and I can just click the active window, which I want to bring to the foreground like that. Once again, if you do this on a live system, it looks great. Here I have enabled the window preview options. So I just slide over a window and it shows me the preview. And uh, I'm going to show you how to set the uh, n the Compass Effects Manager to get the same effects. So just go to System, Preferences, Compass Config is, uh, Effects Manager. And there you'll have all of these different options. So just make sure that you tick the same options that I tick and you'll get the same effects. You can get really lost in the, inside these menus. Desktop cube and rotate cube will uh, enable you to um, have different desktops on kind of a virtual cube. And if you press Alt Control and your left or right arrow key, you can just slide through them. It's like a spinning cube. Uh, again, with the VNC, you don't see the effects, but it uh, kind of gives you an idea. I'll put some links in the show notes to videos that really show you the power of uh, Compiz. One of the things that you also want to take are the Windows previews. So you have them uh, at the bottom, just like I showed you a little bit. And you can go down and click all kinds of stuff. You can really get lost into this menu. But what I've done, I've just clicked some simple options and I've used the Ubuntu tweak setting to enable those hot corners and that's basically all you need so don't tick too much because you can really get lost in here but that is how Compiz works and that's actually how my Ubuntu desktop looks so hope you like that there that's about all we have time for this week on KWTV 0016. I hope you enjoyed it and will try out a little bit of Ubuntu Maverick Meerkat for yourself, either now or when the final release is there. There are versions out there for the desktop, the 64-bit version of the desktop. There's a server version out there and there's a netbook version out there, so there's plenty of stuff to try and there are a lot of derivatives that you can have your uh, go at and see if you like the Ubuntu and will play with it for yourself. You don't have to install it, you can just do it in a virtual machine just like we did. I used a virtual box, which is a free application to install the versions of Ubuntu and show you guys how it works without having to screw up my system if I did anything wrong. So, if you want to be a part of the show, please uh, send your feedback to nightwise at nightwise.com. You can also send an audio feedback or you can record a little YouTube clip and we will grab that off of the YouTubes and drop it into the show, so that would be awesome. And of course, you can always visit the website www.nightwise.com where you'll find the show notes to this week's episode and also the uh, important place to pop down your feedback. Please, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the uh, RSS media feed that we have on the website and get all of the episodes in your podcatcher automatically. And if you're on Twitter, please tweet that you're listening to the episode, post the link, show your friends, and tell your friends about the Nightcast, about KWTV, and about all the funky stuff we do down here. So that's about it for this week. I hope you guys have a great week, and we'll see you on the other end. Until then, let technology, whether that be Windows or the Mac or Ubuntu or any other distro, work for you instead of the other way around. See you guys. Bye.